Uh, good Saturday morning, everybody. Is this the 29th of December already? Good Lord. So, the video I posted yesterday, Ford F-150 radio removal. I had a, people that, a couple of people that posted that were apparently a little unclear as what I was doing. There was a lot of uh, me dragging the truck around with the skidder. I get it. It's fun. It's a great time. Um, that 2004 F-150 had a good radio in it. Walk over here. That 2008 F-150, not so much. Radio was all flaking out on it. So, I needed to get, take the radio out of that one instead of just going out there taking the radio out which would have been two minutes literally two minutes it's one trim panel four screws and two connectors that's not a video so i needed to retrieve the truck anyway so that's what i did There's not a lot to change in the radio on these things. Like I said, one trim panel, four screws, two connectors, and the radio's back in the truck. Good to go. I also swapped the wheels over because the chrome cladding on the other wheels on the 2008 was peeling off. Those are pure aluminum wheels. So we put a set of wheels on it too. Again, not rocket science. You run a floor jack, you run an impact, there you go. Good to go. No big deal. So we had a little fun with the skitter. A little skitter action. Um, so, I don't know how to be more clear. I don't think I can clear that up. That that truck is a truck that I did previous repairs on. We did cam phaser, timing components, all that in that truck. Previous video. If you've kept up with my channel or if you've watched the videos back, that's on there. We'll try to pop a card up above. Um, we did frame repair on that truck. Well, subsequently, forward gear went out of that truck. And at that point, I'm not putting a transmission in it. There's too much rust and all that. We'll do a walk around to that truck later. But it wasn't worth, wasn't worth me doing that to it. So I condemned it reason it ended up out in the pasture is because we gave her a little bit of a farm to her in reverse and that's where it ended up after it blew both front tires wouldn't pull itself around no more so thus where it was so i hope that answers a lot of stories for a lot of or a lot of questions so i hope that answers a lot of questions for a lot of people and let's have some more skater action shall we You don't think this is fun. So, I don't know how to be more clear. I don't think I can clear that up. That that truck is a truck that I did previous repairs on. We did cam phaser, timing components, all that in that truck. Previous video. If you've kept up with my channel or if you've watched the videos back, that's on there. We'll try to pop a card up above. Um, we did frame repair on that truck. Well, subsequently, forward gear went out of that truck. And at that point, I'm not putting a transmission in it. There's too much rust and all that. We'll do a walk around to that truck later. But it wasn't worth, wasn't worth me doing that to it. So I condemned it. The reason it ended up out in the pasture is because we gave her a little bit of a farm to her in reverse. 
And that's where it ended up after it blew both front tires. Wouldn't pull itself around no more. So, thus where it was. So I hope that answers a lot of questions for a lot of people. Let's have some more skater action, shall we? No offense to anyone, but if you don't think skitter action is good stuff, come on. Come on, man. You better check your pulse. <laughs>